There's a message from the mayor of Buzo Westfog. O O I C U R N E D O T. Huh? Either a cat was jumping up and down on the keyboard, or the operator must have gotten that all wrong. S O L O N G Y O U S U C K E <laughs> Damn, where was I? Huh, he's gone. Well, never mind. What kind of contraption is it? How can anyone sleep in that thing? On the other hand, if you're stupid enough to sleep in your desk... What a pile of junk. If this is where the key to the world belongs, good night. I mean, I managed to lose the key to my front door all the time. Hey, that's Dad's water glass. I hardly ever saw him without it. He must have been worried about the hydration. Hmm, I kind of know this symbol. What's this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. This might be unnecessarily complicated. But I'm certain Dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far. Get to his big secret. His legacy. His liquor cabinet. That smell reminds me of something. Dad's aftershave lotion? I don't like the direction this is taking at all. Is this really necessary? Oh. <laughs> the seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. About my key again. Again? 
Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff, but I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? I, uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine. So much power in such a heap of junk. What a waste. Oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? I want the battery acid, and I have a dentist drill. <laughs> that's almost too convenient. <laughs> yeah! Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. Blech. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! Huh. If anything, he seems even more bored now. Ah! Ah-ha! Uh -huh. Brilliant idea, Rufus! What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of Nat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. I can still hear Tony's laughter. I'll never try riding a bull in love ever again. That's below my class. Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil, or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play. Bull's blood. Check. Rich water and reviving bull's blood. Exactly what good coffee water needs. Cool. I already have the special water, at least.
a pinch of black powder. Stimulant. One whole chili. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer, <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. Into the tank you go. So, I have the powder already. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso-verse! Holy smoke! More pressure! More pressure! Okay, uh, okay. <gasps> Are we... Are we dead? No. Being dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Ouch! Whew! I think this brew is going to do the job. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Bufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. What's that?
that stinging smell. That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? <laughs> you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. 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 Ah, I win. Oh, crap. What's that funny smell? Ah, fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. Don't even think about it, Rufus. Keep your hands off the Elysian, Rufus. But this situation calls for a funnel right there. What? No! What makes you think that? You should be glad that Inspector Gizmo's not around. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoop! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Dr. Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? Now, just where is... My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Crime in progress! Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Ah! <sighs> ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mare has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. <laughs> I... what... well... how was that? Me. It was me. <laughs> Rufus? Are you all right? Phew. Oh, oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Goal? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Toodle, toodle, toodle. Pups? No, it, it's Rufus. Ru yes? Pups? You can give me any name you like, babe. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. Nah. Because, I mean, you, you really fell from the sky, you know. 
like an angel, <laughs> just like in the in the pickup line. <laughs> do, do, do you get it? Hello, anyone home? Um, um, home, home. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get a hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe. Yeah, she's attractive and fun to talk to. Ah, uh, flash dash kazash. <laughs> Savvy mommy, good old granny. Grumblump. Puzzle falls. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Munch crunch. Attack a tick tock. Oh! Knock knock. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, wonka, kazonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick, we need to go back. To Elysium. Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. My, my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? You, you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiance. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, uh generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. Rufus, please, contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I can do that. Can spam one tomopolo lollipop? Peekaboo. But... Bootam swadikosu loka shootapop. Oh, the burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Hello, Lottie. You again? <clears throat> you, you again? Do you know where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him at the post office. But the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a letdown, wasn't it? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. The post office will be open o'clock? O'clock? What o'clock? There's something missing here.
<laughs> Long fingers, silent steps. The perpetrator it was Rufus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my! I think you're yeah, right! You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> uh, hi. Please state your business. I want to place a forwarding request. Date the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office, another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long distance devices? There are no long distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. I'd like to register a private radio device for long distance calls. Very well. Where shall the device be installed? Um, Tony's house is located in Grid Square 4, right at the East Tunnel exit. Your order has been placed. The installation of the device will presumably be completed in calendar week 63. What? That's a quarter of a year from now. I'll have long since left Kuvac by then. The installation of the device will take 3.799 months. During this period, your house will be disconnected from the electricity grid and the community's water mains. Ear protection muffs for the noise during the nightly drilling are included in the costs. By what means do you wish to pay? Yeah, ah, uh, Tony will pay for me. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes, as long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. Is that fun too? Whoa, if you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3, and that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats Exactly. It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. Postal Service replacement cats. <laughs> That's cute. And quite useful. I have to replace the regular Postal Service cats when they catch dirt. But don't you have to clean the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch? I do have to clean the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch, but there's an unmatched catch. So what's the unmatched catch with the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch? I have to dispatch the batch of Postal Service replacement cats from the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch to a latched Postal Service replacement cat's backup hatch. Holy moly. See you later. Error. Error. All right, suit yourself.
If I nudge it, it starts nodding. Yeah, I want that feature for Tony. What's this? Neither mic nor headphones. Oh, must I do everything myself? A cat in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Hey, Yoo-hoo, hello. Hmm, yeah, what's up? How's work? Everything's calm here, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus or something. I haven't had any work at all this morning. Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for postal services personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. I have to make an urgent call. Uh-huh. And what, pray tell, has that got to do with me? Well, you're the one with the radio. Keep your hands off. This device is for postal service personnel only. You can transmit till you've got foam coming out of your ears if you want to. But you're not using this device. Capiche? Where can I make my call from? Is it local? No, long distance. Huh. Good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve system in the vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup system then. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what they say about you. You're suffering from a deluded sense of self-importance. What do you mean, suffering? Who's suffering? All right, everyone else is suffering from your deluded sense of self-importance. Heh, <laughs> that's more like it. Don't you get tired at some point? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? This is Kuvac. I'm as chilled out as can be. What, pray tell, should wear me out here? Well, uh, maybe looking that stupid? Well, can I at least borrow your headphones? Are you mad? I need those for work. Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? How do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. <laughs> You're not too busy up here, are you? I'll be going then. You do that. You shouldn't be here anyway. I totally agree. <laughs>